Hey Gemini, it's Tina. What is up, my brothers and sisters? How are you guys? I'm so happy to see all of you. Um, we're going to be doing your May 2021 general and or love forecast. We'll see what the cards have to say. I hope you guys are all doing well. A huge happy birthday to all my May Geminis and happy early birthday to my June babies because you know I'm a June baby too. June 9th for me. So leave your birthday down in the comments below. Um, you know how it is when we start getting that Mm, you know, our solar return is coming. Birthday time is coming. It's about to be Gemini season. I cannot wait. I bet you guys are on the same page. Okay, so like I said, we're going to be doing your May 2021 general and or love forecast. We'll see what the cards have to say. Um, let's go ahead and get started. Spirit Guides, Universe, Guardian Angels, and Ancestors. This reading is for the zodiac sign of Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please allow me to be a clear channel for their messages. Thank you. Okay, my sweet Geminis. Um, before we get started real quick, I just want to tell you Etsy shop people, hi. Thank you so much for being here, and I hope that you enjoy your horoscope. Um, for those of you that are returning, obviously, thank you so much, as always, for your continued support. And for anybody else that's coming on here and just catching up with us, hello. Um, welcome to the party, and hope you will subscribe. Okay, so the free sample for the Etsy shop this month, guys, is called Divine Protection. Look at this. Isn't this amazing? All right secret recipe. I'm not going to tell you everything in it, but obviously you can see there's some beautiful roses that we hand dry, of course, in-house. Um, and here is the sample. Um, all product orders that are made in the shop for the month of May will receive a sample of that uh, oil. And that can be used in so many different ways and it can benefit everybody. There's nobody that couldn't use a little divine protection. It's for spiritual protection, physical protection, you know, protection from illness, you can do a lot of things with it. And it comes with a little card to kind of give you some ideas. Um, but like I said, all product orders, there's no minimum purchase, will receive a free sample of that in their package, but not like services, just things that I'm mailing to you, okay? All right, let's, let's boogie. All right, so for those of you that are new and don't know how I do my readings, I do a nine card spread. It's gonna be three cards for your recent past, three for your present, three for your near future. Keep it or no? Mm, I'm gonna put it back. Um, I also clarify, do bottom the deck overview, and um, I'll do two oracle cards this month, one from the Moonology and one from the Romance Angel Oracle Cards deck. I am looking for a new love deck, guys, an oracle deck particularly, specifically. Um, so if you know of a good one that's not this one, please leave it in the comments down below. I'd love to know what you guys like, and if anybody knows of a good one, like I said, I'm in the market for it. So I appreciate that. If you could help your girl out, your fellow Gemini. Okay. All right, so recent past for Gemini, please. Three cards, all right, so we've got, okay. Yeah, man, it's, I'm telling you. First of all, that full moon we just had, that Scorpio super moon, brutal, brutal, okay? And I don't have a drop of water, I mean, I do, but a little bit, you know, like I'm not a water sign by any by any definition. I'm all air and earth, and, um, that full moon was brutal. And again, I, you know, it, I think it, it, it had to be, it had to impact almost everybody. It did in some way, shape or form. Even if you're single like me, there was still an impact, you know, just a lot of stuff going on. Um, a lot of like really heavy, high emotions, you know, turmoil, craziness, cranky people, stuff like that. Present energy for Gemini. The Four of Cups, the Ten of Swords is hold you. Yeah, I know. I, I'm right there with you. Justice Reverse, Libra card. You've also got Scorpio on the table. Let's see what else is going on for Gemini in the near future. That's good. Five of Pentacles reversed. Things are improving, at least. I'm just going to shuffle these right quick. Damn. Ooh, ow. Okay, all right. So bottom of the deck, King of Pentacles reversed. Okay, so this can be an earth sign, a Virgo, oops, sorry, Virgo Taurus or a Capricorn. Um, this can also be your boss or your, I, I call him the husband in the deck, right? And it can be, it's, it's a masculine energy, but it's a masculine energy, right? So, so it doesn't have to be male or like anything like that. But I call him the husband. He's a committed partner. Um, typically when I see him, so when he's reversed like this, it can mean either your partner may be going through something, um, stressful or, um, you know, you could be going through a divorce or a breakup. He's also the boss man because he's the king of money, right? So when he's reversed like that, 
uh, for some of you, this could be work related, the reading that I'm about to do. You could be experiencing some turmoil or difficulties at work. I know that's where my stuff is kind of hitting me. Um, so it's gonna be different for everybody, but that's what he means, okay? Um, I'm just making sure I don't get any more downloads. Nope, that's all I got for him. Okay, so let's do this. Recent past, clarifying the death reversed card. So death reversed means something's coming back to life or the alternate meaning would be that you're hesitant to let something go. You're, you don't wanna let it die, you know? Um, so let me clarify and see what's going on. And like I said, Scorpio too. Fighting, fighting, fighting. Seven of Wands. Now, someone could be coming back around into or trying to come back around in, into your life, Gemini, from your past. You know, I, I'm telling you, it's it's a lot, particularly a Pisces or another water sign, maybe a Cancer. Um, so it, it feels like you're vehemently like kind of trying to get rid of this person or def they're defending themselves, you're defending yourself. There's, they're not just coming back around for more, they're bringing more drama with them. You know what I mean? It's just the same shit that they, the reason that they're not there anymore. And I don't care if it's a friend, a family member, a boyfriend, a girlfriend, it doesn't matter. You know, it's somebody that's coming back around and this probably already happened, but yeah, somebody from your past trying to come back into your life and you know, you kind of like feeling overwhelmed by it, you know? Maybe they just won't leave you alone, you know? They're, they're really relentless in their pursuit and you're feeling defensive. Judgment reversed. Um, Meaning like you either made a poor judgment call in the past or um, your judgment is currently clouded. So be careful uh, with that. Also, um, hold on. Six of swords. Okay. So again, you know, I think this is really applying the lessons that we already learned, right? We know already like we, we weren't a great you know, we didn't make a good judgment call in the past. We made a mistake essentially, right? Or we did something that we normally wouldn't do um, because our judgment was clouded. We were sold something that wasn't real, basically. Somebody presented themselves in a way that was false, you know, and fake. And so we based our judgment on that when we really should have probably given it a little more time, but that's not what Gemini's do, baby. We don't give anything, we don't wait for anything. You know, we want it, we want it now, we make our decisions, we're like, okay, boom, 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 and that's how we roll. That's just what we do in life, you know? So it's, it's a common scenario for us Gemini's to be in, you know, that we, we made a poor judgment call simply because we were too trusting of someone or something that we didn't know everything about yet. Um, we didn't have all the facts that we needed or our judgment was being clouded. It is, for some reason, it, I feel like it's, I don't know, like so, like a lot of Geminis are pretty easy to take advantage of, unfortunately. Even though we're smart, we're very, very smart, but we're the lovers. So like when we meet somebody, we're like, yeah, you know, like we we love you off the bat until you literally give us the a reason not to, you know? Like if you're cool with us, we're cool, right? And I'm like that with people that come into my life. I meet you, we're all good, right? Like I, I don't prejudge anybody for any reason, you know? But until I have to, until I then, I, you know what I mean? And, until I have to. So I love you until you make me not love you, basically. And so some of you are going through that type of, type of situation. Four of Wands. Okay, so Four of Wands can be weddings. It could be your home. You could be buying a new home. Maybe you just bought a new home. Some of you have moved. Some of you may be traveling or attending a wedding. Um, you may have been engaged to the person that we are discussing over here or married, okay? Lived with them, married to them, something like that. Let me see it's it's a deeply rooted foundation though um and it's in your recent past so let's see what's going on three ones um again moving travel and uh, some of you are looking to build a deeply rooted foundation so instead of having this energy of like things that are you know not stable or not permanent in your life you're tired of having temporary fixtures in your life temporary relationships you really are looking for some permanence I feel like that's coming for Gemini's. I do. I've seen Gemini's on my end as a reader um, for many, many, many clients, you know, and particularly Gemini's. I have a lot of Gemini clients, but I've seen this kind of unfolding over the last six months. I've seen a lot of Gemini's, you know, on their glow up and it's it's really good to see. So it, it gives, gives me hope and I hope that it gives you guys hope too. But I really feel like there's a shift happening. There's something happening with Gemini's. We're, we're, we're out of that crazy crappy 10 year period that just 
whip this left, right, and center, you know what I mean? And hopefully moving into calmer waters and stability. Okay, now again, that's going to be contingent on the decisions that you make, you know, Gemini. It's, it's you do, you are the, the captain here, you're the master of your ship. So you've got to make those good judgment calls and deal with people from your past accordingly, right? Okay, so present energy. So we've got the Four of Cups, which is either rejection of an offer, and that's probably us being like, mm -mm. I don't take offers from little gray clouds, honey. I'm looking for the, you know, the ace. I want like the, the big deal, the real deal. You know, I don't want this crappy cup. I already have three of my own. I don't need your cup, right? Um, and then Seven of Pentacles reversed is either knowing that something is not ever going to come to fruition or somebody's making you false promises or uh, you're rejecting like a pipe dream. You know, it's, it's when somebody tells you over and over again, oh yeah, one day or soon or yep, I'll be, I'll, I'll, you know, I'll be able to commit to you or I'll be able to see you or I'll be able to, you know, do something for you one day, you know, but you're like, that's a, that's a dream. I want something tangible. I want something real. I want something to manifest in front of my eyes, right? I'm no longer accepting things that are hopes and wishes. I want to see results, you know, and that's what you're waiting for. Now, right in the middle of our reading, Gemini, it's the Ten of Swords. You know what that is. It's like it's endings, particularly painful endings, usually betrayal, dishonesty, um, Loyalty is an issue with this card as well. Some of you may be not feeling well too. It could be surgery with this card as well or illness, right? So let's clarify and see. Now, the good news with the Ten of Swords, because there is a silver lining to every card, no matter how dark it may appear, is that the worst is behind you um, with that card. There's nowhere else to go but up. So let's see what this clarifier is. The Hermit. <laughs> Wow. I know. I know. Wow. Wow. <laughs> it's the hermit. Okay. Whew. All right. So it's the card of Virgo. Um, it's also, you know, it's, it's, it's isolating a little bit, maybe being a little introverted, stay into yourself, deeply considering something before jumping into it again, or just jumping into it, period, you know, um, seeing the light of things being illuminated to you. He has a lantern. So he's like, oh, I see now. I can see what's going on, you know? And maybe, maybe some time alone has helped some of you see the light, like see what reality was. You're seeing it now for what it truly is, right? The, the, the hermit's a very, I, I take this sign as a very like realistic sign, right? It's not a dreamer. It's more of a realist, you know? And so, Maybe some of you are kind of channeling that within yourselves. Justice reversed, like I said, card of Libra, something that is unfair or unjust or unbalanced. Also, um, court cases. So some of you, it's going to be like divorces or some other court matter. Let's see what's going on. Or it could be that you're dealing with something that's just not fair, you know? Maybe the relationship was completely imbalanced. You were doing all the work, giving all the love, providing all the support, and the other person was just not, you know? They were just doing whatever the hell was pleasing them at the moment and didn't really give a shit about you. All right, the four of swords. Again, taking a break, taking a breather, cutting off communication with anybody, anything, anywhere, any place, any job that is causing you to feel imbalanced, to causing you to feel like when you know something is unjust, you're like, I'm not doing this, right? You're not in, you're not, you're not, you're not bringing it the way that I demand that it be wrong now. Otherwise I don't want it, right? So that's what you're doing. Does that make sense? Let me try to rephrase this. Let me grab some water. So you're not accepting offers, like I said, from little gray clouds, but somebody's trying to tell you or, or return to you or sell you something that is, is like a, a pipe dream. You know what I mean? It's fake. It's phony. I really want you, my Geminis, to take uh, your rose-colored glasses off. This is the month before our solar return, and I have a theory about that. My theory is that that is the most difficult month of the year. I don't know about you guys, but for me, looking backwards, I can always see it's, it's a pattern. Every month before the birthday, right? It's always the most difficult month. I've already started to experience this 
personally, and I'm sure a lot of you have as well, but that's what this is. This is a time for reflection. It is a time for closure on things that are simply not serving your highest and greatest good. Close those doors, Gemini. Do not go into another solar year, okay? Don't turn another year older with these doors that are still open and you're still messing around with things that are causing you to feel 10 of swords energy. It's not a healthy energy. It's painful. It sucks. And I don't know about you guys. Again, I want to get past that as quick as possible. I just want to put that behind me, heal, move forward, learn the lesson and apply it so that going into my next year, I'm, I'm healthier. I'm stronger. I'm more powerful because I have taken my power back. You get what I mean? No, nobody takes my power. I take my power back. It's mine. You know, you can't have it. I'm not giving it to you. So that type of energy, guys, if somebody has your power and, and they're controlling your thoughts, your feelings, and the way your day goes, take it back. Take it back. Okay, that's the best thing you can do for yourself. Unless, of course, you know, your day is amazing and fantastic, then of course, I mean, I'd be fine with somebody like planning the day, but you get what I mean. All right, so going into the near future, we have the Five of Pentacles reversed. That's a good card. Um, it means coming in from being left out in the cold, all right? So if you were abandoned or blocked or ghosted by someone, you'll probably be hearing from them. Um, for those of you that are struggling with financial issues, like job issues, money issues, whatever the case may be, this card is a definite sign that things will be improving, okay? So if you're looking for the that to change or something like that, that's, a, that's an improvement, okay? Let's clarify that. the star. Yes. <laughs> I love it. It's the card of Aquarius. Um, so it's a, it's a beautiful card. Card of Aquarius also hopes, wishes, and dreams coming true and healing. Okay. And you see, she's replenishing her cup there. Um, because it's, she knows that she can't pour from an empty cup, right? And, and everybody says that, but what does it really mean? It means that when someone has depleted your, your cup, they've taken everything from you, taken your power away. Basically you have no, no more strength left to give. You have nothing left to give to anybody, including yourself. So you've got to replenish your cup, Gemini. Get back on the healing path. Your solar returns right around the corner, ready for that glow up. Okay. We're doing the glow up Gemini season. Woo, woo. All right. Don't let it pass you. Full reverse Aries card, but also could be someone who acted very foolishly or immaturely. Um, it can also be someone who's afraid to take a risk or a leap of faith. Now, Gemini, this could very much be you because guess what? When, when we were a young Gemini and the world was bright and sunny and yellow, and before we knew the spoils of pain, you know, of being burned over and over again or betrayed or hurt or cheated on or lied to or manipulated, we were like this. We were like, ah, you know, it's a beautiful day and I'm just gonna take every risk that comes across my path because what do I have to lose? Well, guess what? Now you know, right? No. We look before we leap. This is no longer a young, immature energy that doesn't know better, right? Now we know better. <laughs> we know, we know. So we know now, oh my gosh, look at the bottom of the deck. <laughs> we know now that we need to be very careful and very cautious of who we let into our lives and what power we give them, right? Two cups at the bottom of the deck. I just, it was sitting here. I didn't see it until I looked in the camera. That's a soulmate card. It's a relationship card. It could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, but it could be a number of things, but it could be about a relationship, right? Whoa, 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 whoa. It's like the old saying goes, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me, right? Because now I know better. All right, the fool reversed. Eyes wide open, Gemini, I'm serious. No rosy colored glasses. I don't care how excited you are or what this conjures up in you. You need to remember how hard you work to get to where you are today all right don't risk that for anything because if you are careful and if you are if you are paying close attention to red flags if you are applying most importantly applying the lessons that you have already learned guess what you get here comes the sun doo -doo -doo -doo. all right the sun joy happiness contentment um bright beautiful energy it's really good energy guys it could be a leo it could be a baby some of you uh might be you know pregnant or finding out you're pregnant or having a baby a gemini baby wouldn't that be cute um but you get what i'm saying like as long as you are making sure that you're not that your risks are calculated right you know the risks you're not being an idiot don't just 
late leap into crap blindly anymore, especially because you know now you're going to be rewarded with that sun energy. It's, it's a beautiful energy. It's, it's happiness. It's just happiness at its truest form, you know? And then the last card you have is the eight of cups, making a decision to walk away. Again, um, the moon is full. Something is being illuminated to you. You've seen the light. Okay. And yeah, maybe something was okay. Right. It's there's eight cups there, right? It can't be that bad, but it wasn't the 10 of cups, you know, it's the eight. I want the 10. I want it, you know, and I know you guys do too. So again, leaving behind things, people, places, jobs, whatever, that just don't serve you anymore. And they're not working for your highest and greatest good. Two cards fell out to clarify that eight of cups. So there's, yep. Perfect strong message here, guys. Both of these cards are about forward positive movement, okay? The chariot and the six of wands. The six of wands specifically calls out victory and weddings. And the chariot can be travel. It can be the zodiac sign of cancer. It can also be um, figuratively moving forward, right? Moving past this, right? Moving on up, okay? It's a major arcana, so it's big moves. So I would assume by the end of May, some major shifts have going to be happening in your life, Gemini. Again, it's a pretty big deal. So you guys are headed towards victory. I mean, whatever the case may be, however this applies to your life, there is a victory here for you if you use your your intelligence and your wits and don't let your emotions drive your decisions. Make that intellectual brain of yours, that very smart, quick-witted, you know, brain that we have, use that and gather all the facts, facts, okay? And then use those to make a, a an informed, calculated decision. You know, make do a risk assessment first before you do anything. Okay, so oracles, moonology deck first. All right, Gemini, sun, moon, rising, Venus. All right, the end of a tough cycle approaches. It's the full moon in Capricorn card. So I'm going to read it directly out of the book. It's not because I can't memorize stuff. It's because they, they word it so perfectly in this book that I don't wanna miss anything. Okay, so how hard are you willing to work for what you want? This card is reminding you that effort is required. Work issues may be about to come to a head when this card comes up. <laughs> Lovely. If you are wondering if you should stay in your job or leave, this card can be a strong sign to make an exit. The end of a rough time is forecast. Ah. Um, this card also asks you to consider how ambitious you are and whether you're prepared to pull out all the stops to make your professional dreams come true without being ruthless, okay? With a love question, this card can be a call to face reality. Whatever situation you're asking about, making a plan will help. If your personal life is troubled, prioritize it more. So you have to you have to deal with it this month, Gemini. You can't ignore it. You've got to deal with it, you know? Um, Attune to the moon is release control and trust the universe. Additional meanings for this card are a professional project may be ending now. Admit if you if you have been overly hard-headed or hard-nosed. Find a balance between your personal and private lives, and it's time to stop fearing the worst. Mm. And that's the full moon and Capricorn card. So what I like to do um, is mark my calendar for a Google, like full moon and Capricorn 2021, and then mark the date, and then like three days before and after, and usually that time frame ends up becoming significant. So then we're gonna pull a romance angel oracle card uh, for you guys too. And like I said earlier, if you know of a good love deck, I wanna know, like I need a new love, love one. So please leave it in the comments down below. I would appreciate it so very much. All right, so Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, love. Oh my. No, uh -uh. that's funny. Okay, so reconciliation. All right, someone from your past is returning to your life. As I said, with the death reverse card, that's exactly what that means, resurrection. Okay, someone from your past is returning to your life. Let's check out the book definition here. 
Okay, this card, oops, this card indicates that an ex-lover may be re-entering your life. The first person you think of is likely who it will be. Wow. The purpose of this reconciliation is to achieve healing and closure with respect to your past. You will understand more about yourself and see your relationship patterns more clearly. You'll also take responsibility for the role you played in the relationship's drama, which will free you from the tyranny of unforgiveness. Reconciliations are ultimately about taking care of unfinished business. This card could also possibly mean making peace with a family member or friend. Each relationship is a sacred learning experience, so be open to this reunion's lessons and blessings. Ultimately, all healings help your love life and every other part of your world. All right, my Gemini friends, that is what I have for you for the month of May. Um, thank you so much for being here. Again, if you're interested in a personal reading or any of my spells, products, services, the oil, the sample, any of that, it's all going to be in the Etsy shop down below, link in description, okay? Um, thank you guys so much again. I appreciate each and every one of you, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.